Hi traders, hope you're doing well. So I just thought I'd get on uh, this Zoom call and do a quick video uh, with this trade recap um, that I've just posted in the Instagram. I've got a couple of positions in long and I closed back out of VWAP. Um, there's a couple of little uh, pointers of levels that I was using uh, for interest and also footprint gave me some good confirmations. So I thought I'd just use this as an example, as a bit of a case study to show you how I trade. Uh, my confidence is for taking the trade. So with all that said, let's jump into it. So first of all, this is the screenshot I posted, which uh, was my positions. I had one in down here. I added another position here on my uh, custom afternoon chart. When it opened at a level, it gave me the opportunity to scale in another position. And uh, I also had extra confidence with the footprint chart with the order flow, which I'll talk through in a minute. So we had two positions on there and I closed them both out now back at VWAP for a tidy little profit. So with that said, let's get rid of that chart and I'll talk you through the confidences. Right. So the day chart we'll start off with. We've got here. Uh, the prior sessions low, which is also happens to be where this black line is. That is a value area low. Um, so that was going to be an area of interest for me. Having seen us auctioning down in London, I thought we might sweep the liquidity below this value area. And then um, so we would see I'll be looking for a bit of a stop run on the footprint, uh, some absorption, which, again, I'll show you in a minute. And then uh, I'll be looking for some continuation towards the upside back up to this high here. Um, so that was what I was looking at on the daily to be happening. We also had the custom morning chart, which I had this value area low here and also the edge of a ledge of this high volume node there. So this was going to be my area of demand, my buy zone. And as you can see, we ducked just into this area before rejecting. So that again, married up with this area. So I had two levels of interest to be looking for trades. I also had the price at the deviation band extremes, which is this gray area here, which is one of my custom study settings. It's not industry standard settings. It is uh, slightly different from that. These deviations are real extremes. So they're not what um, everybody else would be looking at. Um, and that allowed me to be thinking I could look for positions somewhere around about here, fading back to this black line there, which is where I took my profits. So that's what that looked like. I also had the footprint chart, as I said, which I'll pull over now. If you just give me a minute, because I'm on my other screen. Just drag this over. bigger and now what I could see was so we're at the area I was just talking about on the profile charts we're coming into the area we saw an increasing selling activity into the area of interest and then when we got right to that level you can see here there was a peak with my classic reversal signs of increased sell side delta an increase in volume we've got here you can see there massive increase in transactions on the bid and the ask. This was a combination of uh, aggressive sellers coming into the area of interest and sellers passively selling their orders back. So sellers taking profits. We also had um, passive buyers coming into the equation. So we had absorption taking place as well, where aggressive sellers selling into the area of interest were getting absorbed by passive buy limit orders for continuation to the upside. So having seen that at my area of interest, gave me a clue that we're seeing the reversal signs that I was looking for. This was also a bit of a stock run after we had consolidated for a period of about 15, 20 minutes there. Got that little duck down, that aggressive push down, and then upwards we went with the delta flip to the buy side we continued upwards so having seen that which is a classic footprint reversal for me i've seen it with the pound futures thousands of times over the years it gave me confidence to get my long positioning plus as you can see these gray bands what i was talking about just now my deviation band extremes allowed me to get that position in and pay back towards this purple line here which is where i took my profits um so I've got one position in, as I say here, 
then saw the aggressive buying activity taking place. My custom afternoon chart opened, which I'll flip to in a minute at a level. So that then allowed me to get another long position in. And having seen this blue box print, which is again, another custom setting of mine on my charts, it shows um, stacked imbalances of specific um, percentages between the bid and the ask. Um, so when I saw that, I was able to scale in another position because I could see investors were getting aggressive with their orders. Um, so I've got that extra position in, and that was in alignment with one of my custom uh, afternoon charts. Again, what I just said, I'll show you. So uh, I've got my, as I say, my positions in, took profits at the pink line, pretty straightforward. Let's just get this chart back out of the way. And as I said about that custom afternoon chart, if I pull this back up a bit, you can see. It opened here. I had this level marked out anyway, this prior sessions low from a historical date in the past. We opened here, just below it. I scaled in my position and I took profits at BWAP. And now we're back up to this value area here, stroke credit control, which is where you can see we're starting to show signs of rejection. Let me just um, open this profile out. So I've scaled in the upper position here. We then auctioned it up. And you can see we're just up into this value area straight point of control. And we're just showing signs of rejection there. Can you see how damn accurate my charts are now and how it makes trading so much easier having all these levels of interest already marked out by the data that I set in my studies? Gives you a clue where to start looking for reversal signs and things like that. Um, so that is the reasons why I got my long positions in and uh, hope you got some value for that. And uh, no doubt I'll catch you on another trade uh, sometime in the future. All right, nice one. Cheers, guys. This is the Bankers Club signing out. Also, I'll just hasten to add, people message me constantly asking uh, if I do one-to-one -one sessions or have a course or anything. Yes, we do have a very in-depth video course. It is about 12 or 13 hours long. Plus, on top of that, we have weekly mentorship calls as well, which are all pre-recorded and uh, added onto uh, the course uh, in one of the sections there also. So uh, it's an ongoing educational course as well. You don't just do the video course and left to it. You're uh, invited to attend our mentorship calls as well. And along with that, you get all my charts Um so I'll give you access to all my charts. So you see the same levels as I do in that. And so if all of that is of any interest to you in learning how I trade, then by all means, uh, do check out the link in my uh, bio or below this video uh, in the description. And uh, you can book a call with my colleague direct. Uh, my colleague's called Darren. And you can talk to him via Zoom and find out more information about uh the course and what we have to offer and how we can help you. Um, so with all that said, have a lovely day and I'll catch you on the next video. All right, nice one. Cheers, guys. Over and out.